Flooding and landslides lead to the deaths of at least 17 people in California. Mike Valerio shows us a widespread damage as the storms continue. These conditions are serious and they're deadly. California Governor Gavin Newsom getting his first look at storm damage as a powerful system continues to better the Golden State with more on the way. We're not out of the woods. We expect these storms to continue. On Tuesday, more than 20 million people were under flood alerts with more than 134,000 customers across the state without power. It's been kind of crazy to see this, this thunderstorm. An atmospheric river is dumping too much rain too fast, creating deadly conditions as crews up and down the state race to make water rescues and save people from cars swept away by floodwaters. In San Luis Obispo County, at least two new deaths linked to this latest storm as crews resume the search for a five-year-old boy who was swept away in floodwaters near a river. The mother in the vehicle was uh, fortunately rescued um, shortly after the vehicle uh, did become stranded. Meanwhile, in California's central coast, evacuation orders in the city of Montecito were lifted Tuesday as some residents, including comedian Ellen DeGeneres, were told to shelter in place. In Southern California, busy streets turned into rivers, and this large sinkhole in L.A. County swallowed at least two cars. Thankfully, everybody involved survived. At higher elevations, snow is creating treacherous driving conditions, and as the storm moves east, state officials are urging people to stay alert. Do not let the sun and relative clear skies fool you. We are calm between the storms. In Montecito, California, I'm Mike Valerio.